I'm Stian Sonabeus from uh, Manchester, and it's not actually full screen. Any Mac person will help me? <laughs> the full screen. Oh, it's a magic, it's a new key. Okay, so uh, just an annual reminder don't forget the fair principles. It's not just those four letters. Go look at the actual principles. It's about identifiers, metadata, registering and indexing and sync. Go look, there are actual principles to read, right? And uh, you need to be able to retrieve them with open protocols. The metadata needs to be accessible even if the data are not. This is like just a few years ago, right? And you need to use a formal language for your knowledge representation. We heard about that in the knowledge graph. The vocabularies themselves should follow favorite principles. And you should obviously reference other metadata using the same. And for usability, you need lots of attributes for that purpose. Data license, provenance, where they come from, and follow the community standards. So reproducibility, we're still not able to do it. So you see here in nature how it's still is a problem today. And just in the same issues, I, I looked at uh, so a brilliant article about someone doing uh, metagenomics. And they've done the works. Look, this is all the reproducibility section. It's brilliant. They've even done the reproducibility study themselves. But I cannot execute that. That's like a whole page of text. There's no run button on it, right? This 2019 people, right? We've been banging on on this for 10 years now. We've been trying to promote this idea called research object, that you package up these things that you need for reproducibility, all your data sources, and so on. But crucially, it's not just putting it in a box is to link them together to describe what is what so the computer can also understand some of those things. So we're doing a bit of a reboot. In a sense, we pushed fair too far and we used 20 standards, so that was a bit too difficult. So we have a reboot now called Arrow Crate, and that's what I'm talking about today. So what we're using is JSON-LD, as you just heard. So that is uh, a very popular format on the web, used by schema.org and Google and so on. So it's one million flies can't be wrong, right? And we also know about bioschemas extending this. For instance, they've helped to evolve the data set type. And I'm not gonna forget Probe, which I helped make. This is also a simple model that we want to keep in mind as a, uh, a good model to not throw away. Now, uh, I want to show you a bit about how we do use this in a data set. So basically, it's that uh, you record the basic data about the data set as a group, and also for each individual files in there. And there's simple things like date description creator, but then also typing and formats and links to where things come from. So this is uh, something f called uh, a data crate, which has now evolved to our crate. And uh, crucial on the top there, it says a link to download as a JSON-LD format. And there's also a check this crate, which currently is done in JavaScript, but we want to use that thing we just heard of, which sounds brilliant. Now, underneath the hood, there is some JSON-LD, scary, scary, there's some JSON, right? But it's quite simple, because it's, it's just a bit of listing of all the files. Of course, you need that. But then, for, crucially, for each of those, you give them a tiny bit more data, right? Which format is it? What's the license for this particular file? Because it might be a mix, right? It might not all be the same. It might be places where things come from. For instance, metagenomics, you're sampling things in the water. That's an important place where you've gone to. People, hopefully with a better identifier than that, ORCID if you know. And uh, you can also talk about actions, things that have happened. So that's the problem. So that's what we're struggling with now is how to map PROV with these actions and so on. Anyway, so packaging up, we, we're using Bagit, which is a, a, a well-established archiving format used by digital libraries. Galaxy now supports Bagit for exporting the whole workspace. And so we're saying that's no longer our concern. That's just a way of making sure all the files are there, the checksums are correct, and they may, might or may not be remote, but at least they are together. But there's no information about what they do or what they are, and that's where we come in by the new file, the metadata JSON-LD file there. Uh, but it might be hard to write these JSON files, right? So we want normal users also to make this without having this particular software, so maybe they just want to write a CSV file, and there's a nice tool called Calcite, which will generate the JSON-LD for particular data types. For instance, here is listing the creators, right? So you can give the name and so on. 
Um, but it could be a more complex scenario, like from here, from the European Open Science Cloud, where we have uh, gathering all these workflow systems, Galaxy and Explanime, and we want to put them in one big federated registry, linking to where they already are, but we want to describe them, use that little thing in the middle there, research object, and see the real to build what is my experiment too. So the people who've been for boss for year might remember my experiment. So it's a new federated model we're moving to. So basically that's the idea that we use the RO crate as the glue for all these things, files you might have with you, but also external things. And then you can package it up, you can put it in Synodo, make a DOI, but we will also catalog this and discover them. And that's why you need all those crucial metadata you put in earlier, because otherwise you can't find it again. So I think uh, if you found that as interesting, it's time to join. So we heard about that 1.0, we're still not quite there, so we're on 0 0.2 now. And it's because we set ourselves a deadline for October, and so there's still time to come and try to suggest your favorite property to go in. And here's the team, you can join us. We have a call, everyone. It's tomorrow night to be compatible with Australia, so very fun. Bring a glass of wine if you like that. Uh, come see my poster, it's uh, poster 32, and here's a shameless plug for the CDL Birds of a Feather, which is starting in not many minutes from now. Thank you.